Welcome to video step-by-step -step to change the default Outlook OSD file location. First, let's review the new 365 account mail installation steps. With an email account 365, you only need to remember the exact email address and password the server parameters will be automatically set. The email account has been installed successfully. Here is the default Outlook OSD file location on C drive. When the OSD file is saved on the same drive as the operating system and applications, the risk of file corruption increases due to disk errors. So, changing the OSD file location reduces the risk of file corruption and ensures data integrity. You can easy to find the methods to change the default Outlook OSD file location, such as method set the forciest path registry entry to change the location of the OST file. Important noted, this section, method, or task contains steps that tell you how to modify the registry. However, serious problems might occur if you modify the registry incorrectly. Therefore, make sure that you follow these steps carefully. Or method. Disable the cached exchange mode and change OSD file location. But risks and results will not be as you want. That is why I want to share with you a simple safe way. Surely you will do 100%. Firstly, you need to copy the existing OST file to a new location as you want. Do not forget to close the Outlook window before click paste.
The second step, open the control panel window with many ways. In Control Panel, click Mail, Microsoft Outlook. Click Email Account. Now click and remove the existing email account. In the Email tab, click New to start the new 365 email installation, but do not forget to follow to ensure accurate implementation results. Check Manual Setup or Additional Server Types. Please enter again your email address and click Next. Uncheck and check change account settings. Depending on your needs, you can choose time mail to keep offline. Click more settings. Advanced. Now, you can easily change the default Outlook OSD file location with new location. After change, click OK. Click Finish. Click OK. And this is the result that we have done. And now click Close to close the windows and restart the computer. After restarting the computer, open Outlook and work successfully. Hopefully this video will be useful and help you. Thank you for watching all the videos.